So far we've only been looking at integer variables and integer operations. So we're going to start, start talking about floating point operations uh, or decimal numbers as you may be familiar with them, but we'll call them floating point numbers. Now there is a, when we declare these, we'll uh, declare a variable rather than saying int, we'll say double. Now there is also a, a, a type called float, and you can say float in the variable name here. Uh, but float is kind of outdated, uh, and double has replaced it. Double is what's referred to as double precision uh, floating point number. So we originally had float, and then we realized that there just wasn't enough precision in those numbers in the way they're stored. So we've added a double precision version, and we've called that double. So it gets kind of confusing. So in order to store a decimal number, <laughs> the data type uh, is double. So we'll say double in the variable name and then again assign it things. Uh, and here we're setting it equal to 0, 0.0. Uh, now one thing you might want to start doing is uh, the way you write out your numbers. It's important to differentiate between integers and decimals. So um, we want to make sure we're, if we're writing out one and it's a floating point number, we say 1.0. Similar, uh, it's not a bad practice if, like for 0.5 to write it out as 0 0.5. Now this isn't actually required. The preceding zero is not uh, required. While this, the, the number, the zero after, uh, the digit here is required. If we just said one, this would be an integer and that would cause some problems with the, our compiler. So if we want this to be assigned to a floating point number, we need to have this zero. So it's a good practice to put the zero in both uh, places. So again, we we'll walk through a simple exercise here um, where we're doing some calculations here. Um, we're declaring some variables and notice now instead of ints we have double so double 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 instead of ints here and uh, again we're initializing these to 0, .0, 0 rather than just 0 uh, here we do our calculations uh, fly, hours fly is equal to miles traveled divided by 500.0 and again because we're doing um, working with um, Integer, I mean, floating point numbers, we're going to say 500.0 rather than just 500. Um, now, in this case, it isn't that important, and we'll see why uh, with this operation, because if this is a double and we're dividing by an integer, the results will still be a double, and there's rules to govern that, but sometimes it's hard to catch all the rules. So in most cases, it's safest to add, make sure you're using floating point uh, numbers uh, as your numeric constants either uh, or numeric literals like this also. Um, but with double variables it's just like integers you can print them out uh, in a print line statement. Now you can get in some issues of formatting uh, these and how they're displayed and so we'll talk about that later on. So for now we're not going to worry if this displays a lot of significant digits or how this is displayed. So uh, the one other thing we had to do is when we're reading in a variable, we used to do our scanner.nextInt to read in the next integer. Now we're reading in a double, so we say next double to read in a double precision thing. So again, if this is a double, uh, this variable is a type double, we have to, and we're assigning it with an input statement, we have to say scanner.next double. Uh, so go through these exercises. Um, and try out different values. Now one thing we will see every once in a while with some outputs and stuff is scientific notation. Um, so numbers, uh, really small and really large numbers, uh, we often write in a certain way with scientific notation. So if we have a number like 0 0.001, uh, we can write that as uh, one, so we take the the significant digit part of this, and then times ten and to the negative third. So what that does is basically move this decimal place over one, two, three spots. Uh, so we we move the decimal place over until we have a digit that's uh, between you know a single digit here, um, and 
we'll work on that. So this is ten, 1 times 10 to the negative third. Now, that's hard to write in the computer, so we use this notation. 1.0 e for scientific notation uh, to the negative 3. Uh, so there's no, uh, here you notice it's kind of a uh, exponent here, right, you know, uh, um, superscript uh, value here. We're not going to use, we don't use a superscript here. We just write this out 1.0 e to the th negative third. We won't be seeing too much scientific notation, but we will say sometimes. So you just have to know that this sort of uh, calculation or scientific notation, 6.02 e to the 23rd, is the same as this one. So again, uh, just go through these exercises, and we just want you to transfer these numbers to non-scientific notation in most of these cases, or vice versa. So again, if we have this, it's a floating point literable, and we want to uh, show it not using scientific notation. So again, I have 7.2e uh, to the negative fourth, so I have to move this decimal place over four locations. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Check that. So, and it's suggesting maybe I should have a zero in front of that. So I'm going to put a zero in front of that and check that again. And that's what it wants. Um, so sometimes we have to decide, should we be using a, a dollar, I mean a, a decimal number, a, f a double, a floating point double, or should we be using just an integer variable? So this just asks you some simple questions, should you be using one or the other? So anytime something could be a decimal, uh, you should be choosing a double. So uh, current temperature, I would say a double might be a better idea than an integer because it's not uncommon to say the temperature is like 14.8 degrees out. So we have a decimal number in there. Um, another thing we do have to watch sometimes is the size of these numbers, uh, particularly uh, with integers, remember they're limited to about 9 billion plus or minus. So if we have really large numbers, really small numbers, um, we may have to use the uh, a double simply to allow us to use like kind of like scientific notation format to store uh, much larger numbers. Um, again, just like with integers, we have to worry about divide by zero issues. So go through this little exercise talking about dividing by zero and what will that hap what will cause that to be. Um, so you have a couple challenge exercises you can go through here. Um, one is to calculate the volume of a sphere. Um, we'll be doing similar uh, exercises for our learning activity this time and then your assignment this week. Um, one thing to note is that in this example they're using, they just have a variable declared as a pi value. Uh, later on we'll look at uh, built-in pi constant. So uh, when you get into more programming, when we learn more about it, uh, we'll use a predefined pi constant. They'll be more accurate than this. But uh, at this point this is a nice easy way to, for you to work out this equation.